What is going on guys, it's Modded Dwarf here, welcome back to another PS4 video. So the jailbreak is finally here for 7.55 and technically also 7.50 and 7.51 as well. So yeah, this jailbreak works on all three of those firmware versions and it was released by Slayer's Gorvi, I believe on the 14th of March. So it's only a couple of days old, so there are still some instability issues and various different things. So that is why I've not got a full tutorial out just yet, but I will do soon. So probably in the next day or two, I'll have a full tutorial showing you guys how to update to 7.55 and then also showing you how to set up the jailbreak correctly. In this video, though, I mainly just wanted to kind of test the jailbreak and show you guys what it's like and give you guys an idea of the stability. Now, as you can see here, I have everything set up. I have Mira running right now, so I've got the PS4 Explorer app installed by Lappy. Uh, which he updated not too long ago and as you can see if I go into the settings menu I go down to system system information I have updated my PS4 already to 7.55 and also as you can see I've got the debug settings running and I also have Mira running so I can run the PS4 Explorer app it's all working perfectly fine here on 7.55 so questions about stability and stuff first of all you've got to bear in mind that this jailbreak uses the same WebKit exploit that the 7.02 jailbreak used. So the jailbreak is going to be very similar in the way it loads, how you get those out of memory errors all the time when you load the jailbreak. That is pretty much the same thing here. Plus you also have a little bit more instability in the kernel exploit from what I've experienced. However, you've got to bear in mind as well that some of these payloads may have some issues and uh, Mira specifically kind of crashes quite often. And that seems to be an issue with Mira itself rather than the actual jailbreak because most of the other payloads that I try and run, as long as the jailbreak doesn't fail, um, as long as the jailbreak is successful and the WebKit exploit is successful, it loads other payloads just fine. However, with Mira, it will load Mira, load it successfully so you can see it loading so the jailbreak didn't fail, but then it will just crash. So there seems to be some issue with Mira right now. So a lot of people think this jailbreak is really unstable when in actual fact, it could just be Mira that's got causing some issues. And once that's fixed, it will kind of appear more stable to people because Mira tends to be the first payload that people try and run. OK, so if we go on to the Internet browser, there's already a few exploit hosts that are currently hosting the exploit. You've got this one here by Nasky YT on YouTube. So you've got this one here. As you can see, there's different versions of Mira for the different firmwares. So you've got 7.50. 7.51 and a 7.55 version of Mira. So you will have to run the correct version uh, of Mira depending on which firmware you're on. But all the other payloads will work the same whether you're on uh, 7.50 or 7.51 or 7.55. You've of, of course got Night King's exploit host as well. So you've got all the payloads hosted here. You've also got this one here, the wolfgames.github.io forward slash 755. Uh, this one is by Mohammed Fadel1, I believe. And you can go ahead and run the exploit here as well. So 7.50, 7.51 or 7.55. Okay, so maybe we'll try Night King's exploit since it cached it in the browser. So what we'll do is we'll clear browsing data. And because I've been on the other sites, so I'll also clear my cache and cookies. Let Night King's exploit cache in the browser offline. So cache installed successfully, turn off the internet and reopen the browser. So if we do that, if we turn off the internet, go down to network settings, uncheck connect to the internet, and that will force the browser to load the version that was cached uh, since it cannot access the live version right now. So that way we know it's definitely using the cached payloads. And we can now try and run Mira for 7.55. See if we get any better luck with this one. I'll also show you how to host the exploit locally and load the payloads via netcat uh, which might give even better chance of success if you do it that way okay that wasn't so bad that was about two or three out of memory errors you know not enough system memory errors before it um, eventually loaded and now we wait about five seconds or so to see if it starts loading a payload and it does not look like it has worked so it looks like it's doing the same thing as uh, the Iron Wolf one, where they've not implemented an error message to tell you that the jailbreak's failed and that you have to restart. Because again, by now, it should have actually loaded 
we should have had a notification in the top left to say that um, it's wait waiting for clients or something, or Mira loaded, but we haven't. So yeah, it's a bit misleading to say PS4 jailbreak success. Okay, now my whole system has locked up because I didn't restart. So yeah, I hope most of these exploit hosts will fix these issues. Just just bring up an alert message that says jailbreak failed, reboot your PS4 so that you're not stuck waiting to see if it's going to load or not. Um, and then waiting for your PS4 to lock up like this. Okay, so while that's trying to reboot, I'll show you guys how to host the exploit locally because you'll probably get better success trying to host it locally just now. It will still cause crashes because the jailbreak's still a bit unstable and Mira has issues uh, with loading Mira um, as well. And uh, yeah, obviously the webkit's quite unstable as well. Again, hopefully with small optimizations over time, this will get more stable. But obviously it's very early days right now, so things are very unstable. So yeah, so for hosting the exploit locally, uh, so Alaze have released the payloads that you can download. So these are pretty much all of the payloads apart from Mira. Actually, I think the Mira loader is included in this as well. Um, so you can download these. These are the fixed payloads for 7.50 to 7.55. And also uh, you've got Slayer's Gorvi who released the actual jailbreak right here that you can download and the Mira payloads. Although these Mira payloads are specifically for 7.55. I'm not sure where the 7.50 and 7.51 payloads are were posted, but um, this one's just for 7.55. So yeah, in order in order to host it locally, what you want to do is extract the uh, Mira for 7.55. Just extract that into a folder. Uh, also extract uh, the build 7-zip, which is from Al Azov. This is all the other payloads that you can go ahead and uh, copy into a folder, as I've done right here. Also, you have the actual jailbreak itself, which you're going to want to extract into a folder. So I just extracted it into this folder on my desktop. Then you just want to run an HTTP server in this directory. So, so yeah, I'd recommend using Node.js for this, which has an HTTP server module that you can install, which is pretty easy to use once you have it set up and it's a pretty fast, reliable HTTP server. So if you go ahead and install Node.js, just download the Windows installer for your version of Windows and then just go through the installation process. Once you've done that, you can run the command prompt and you just want to, you know, type in CMD into the start menu, right click and run it as administrator. If the HTTP server module isn't already installed, you can install it by typing in npm install http server space dash g to install it globally. And that will install the, uh, the module, the HTTP server module. Once that's installed, starting an HTTP server is really simple. All you have to do is go into the folder where the exploit is that you want to host, click up in the file path and type in CMD before the file path and then just hit enter and that opens command prompt in that directory. Then you can just type in HTTP server, hit enter and it starts hosting the exploit on all your network adapters. So then you can just find the IP address of your computer, whichever one it is, like this one here. And you can essentially just paste that into the browser and as you can see, it's trying to load the exploit, so you know that uh, you know that it's working. So once you have that up and running, we can then go to that um, IP address, the IP address of your computer. Which, if you don't know what that is, you can just again open a command prompt and type in IP config, and then you'll find the IP address of your computer listed in there. So all you need to do is go to that IP address in the browser of the PS4. Okay, so now the PS4 is recovered from its crash. I'll just enable the internet again and go back on the internet browser. And what we'll do again, clear your cookies, your website data, all that stuff. And then we're going to go to HTTP colon double slash the IP address of your computer with colon 8080 at the end and that will attempt to load the jailbreak from your computer, from the server that you're hosting on the computer. So then we're just going to have to send the payloads. So to send the payloads, we're going to open up Netcat GUI or some other payload injector and put in the IP address of your computer. And then we're just going to grab the Mira loader. So we, we take the bin file first and we load that in. And then we'll just wait for this to load. So not enough free system memory. Gonna wait for this to do its thing. 
Okay, there we go. String IMPL corrupted successfully. That was about three out of memory errors I got there before it's actually loaded. Um, so we're going to wait a few seconds to see if it's going to crash or not. Okay, hopefully we should be good now. So we'll inject the payload. And okay, that failed. Let's try again. Yep, that one worked that time. So waiting for clients. So then we load the next payload for Mira, which is the ELF file. So we load the ELF file in, change the port number to 9021, and then inject that payload. And there we go, you're all set. And then it does the it does the soft reboot that Mira does when you load it. Um, although it may have crashed in this case. Nope, we're good. It loaded Mira successfully. So there we go, it does that soft reboot. Sometimes it will crash though when it loads, but in this case it loaded successfully, did the soft reboot. And as you can see, we are up and running. We've got our debug settings. Uh, we've got the ability to load our fake package files as well. So you might get better luck loading the exploit locally like I did right there, or you might get better luck by just using one of the, the hosts that are already hosting the payloads for you. Yeah, but as you can see, it is working. Let's try and load it again and try and load a different payload this time. So if we go into the payloads folder, we'll copy FTP in and try and load the exploit via FTP. So there we go. Loading additional payloads after it's already loaded the first payload should be a lot easier. So it shouldn't take us long the second time when you're loading an additional payload. We didn't even get a single out of memory error there because we've already loaded the jailbreak before when we loaded Mira. So now we should be able to just obviously change this back to 9020, inject the payload, and there you go, FTP is running, no problem. So, so yeah, it's just loading the initial jailbreak at first that seems to be the issue, but then once it's already loaded one payload, loading additional payloads seems to be fairly easy. Yeah, so in terms of the stability, all I can really say right now is, again, it's the same WebKit exploit as 7.02. So if you didn't like 7.02, you're not going to like this exploit either because it uses the same WebKit exploit. You have those out of memory errors that pop up all the time. You have to keep clicking OK to reload the browser and try again. And then eventually when it does work, you then have to deal with the kernel exploit, which can not be very stable sometimes. Occasionally you'll get the jailbreak failed message or it'll just hang and freeze and you'll have to reboot the PS4. And obviously Mira, there seems to be some issue with Mira right now where even if the jailbreak loads successfully, it can still crash when loading Mira, which um, you know makes it seem even more unstable than it actually is when some of these crashes could be to do with Mira rather than the actual jailbreak itself. So yeah, hopefully little issues like that will be worked out and then it will not seem quite as unstable as it is. And of course, a lot of the exploit hosts right now do not have the ability to cache the payloads offline, uh, which can also lead to, you know, things seeming more unstable and not loading quite as quickly as it could. However, again, if you load the jailbreak once, if you load one payload, then loading additional payloads after that, um, it should load quicker once it's already loaded once. So there is that benefit as well. So yeah, that's basically the state that things are in right now. Obviously, if you're on 5.05 or 6.72, definitely wouldn't recommend even 7.02 I would not recommend updating to this jailbreak definitely not yet wait a few more days at least or a couple of weeks for things to settle down to really see how stable things are and then once we you know have a better idea of the stability in future once some of these other little issues have been worked out uh, then we can really judge whether it's worth updating or not again anybody on lower firmwares lower jailbreaks are going to benefit from this one anyway because all these newer games that can now run on 7.55 will be backported to run all the way back to 5.05 and lower. So you don't really have to update to this jailbreak to run newer games. So yeah, that's basically all I really have to say on this for now. So stay tuned for my full tutorial which will hopefully be out within the next few days. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.